when Judah the Maccabee actually purifies the temple up on Temple Mount, we have an autonomy over here, a religious autonomy. But what we don't have is independence. And that's the story of Antiochus. But when he comes over here to Jerusalem in 167, raids over the city, he will build a fortress. It's mentioned in the book of Maccabees, chapter one, book one, chapter one. It's mentioned that he built a citadel in the middle of Jerusalem to prevent the Jews living in the city of David where we are to go up to Temple Mount for freedom of worship. And that fortress is called the Chakra in Hebrew. The Chakra, the word Chakra comes from the Greek word Akra, meaning Acropolis. You would build a stronghold, a fortress on the highest spot of the city to control the city. And that's exactly what he did. And what we're seeing just over here in the Givati parking lot excavations that are being held today, two years ago, Daron Ben Ami, the leading archaeologist here in this site, actually claims that he found the remains of the Akra, of that stronghold of the Greek Empire built over here to prevent the Jews from going freely to Temple Mount and worshipping God. Yeah, it was blocking them. It was an impediment to worshipping the Lord. And this was a scourge, a thorn in the side of the Maccabees, Jamie, that Akra, that fortress of the Maccabee and the Hasmonean revolt went on for, for decades, really. But that, man, it was really tough for them to seize that Akra fortress that was such a stronghold for the Greeks. It was this finding is phenomenal for one reason, yeah. because you ask every freshman that studies in university about Second Temple era, they begin studying. The first lesson that they talk about is where on earth are the findings or the remains of the Accra? Where was it built? What we have behind me is the beginning or the foundation of a defensive slope that was built towards the wall belonging to that stronghold. Look at these layers going down. One, two, three, four. It's numbered going all the way down. And that would be the foundation of that slope going all the way down at least 50 to 60 feet to the west. The interesting thing is, okay, so we date this slope and the walls and the towers that we find over here to the years of the Maccabees or actually the Seleucid Empire. The amazing thing is that we hardly find, when I say we, I mean archeologists and historians, hardly find any Seleucid remains here in Jerusalem. It's an enigma. This is something that we've been looking for for years. And on the remains of this defensive slope, we can see part of the destruction because as we continue reading the book of Maccabees, we know that Simon in the year 143 sieged the Accra, sieged the fortress. Two years later, he was able to capture that fortress and destroy, finally destroy it. And then, Eric, only then we're able, or the Hasmoneans are actually able to declare Jerusalem the capital of the United land of Israel. That's the second time in history, only the second time in history, when we have independence here in Jerusalem. The first time are in the years of David, King David and King Solomon, 70 years. The second time is in the year 141, 23rd of the fifth month of the Hebrew calendar. That's when Simon declares that Jerusalem will be the capital. And that's when we have the second time in history uh, an independent state here in Jerusalem. When an archaeologist finds a layer of destruction, I promise you, you can recognize a layer of destruction. In that destruction, we found coins belonging or with a portrait of Antiochus Apipanus IV. Continuing to Antiochus VII, it matches the exact dating of the Accra, the fortress of Jerusalem, the Greek one that prevented the Jews going up to the temple and worship. So we've got no doubt what we found over here. This is absolutely amazing. Yeah. In the Davidic period, under David, Solomon, the Jewish people had full sovereignty over Israel. Jerusalem was the capital. Then again, during the Hasmonean period, the Maccabees, Simon uh, declared once again the state of Israel, Jerusalem the capital. When is the third time that that happened? Only the third time in history that the Jewish people had full sovereignty over Israel and Jerusalem. Well, how can we forget? The date is 14th of May. 1948, when David Ben-Gurion, David Ben-Gurion, our first prime minister, 
declares and establishes for the third time the state of Israel. And he will declare that Jerusalem will be the eternal capital of the state of Israel. We're back. Yeah, we live in interesting times, my friend. Bible times, uh, prophetic times, I would say. We're gonna look at some of the roots of those prophecies, those ancient prophecies from the first temple period right now. Let's go. Let's do it. 